Welcome everybody to Small Tuber News. I'm your host, Gator the Legend, and I'm here to get you caught up on the drama and news surrounding your favorite small YouTubers. My first story comes from an up-and-coming small tuber named Yolo Caboose, or as I like to call him, YKB. Recently, YKB put out his version of an unboxing episode. Not since Gator the Legend himself has there been a bigger, more fun twist to the whole entire unboxing genre. It's a video filled with all kinds of twists and turns and surprises, and I suggest each and every one of you go over there and check him out. If you enjoy unboxing episodes, you're going to absolutely love YKB Yolo Caboose's unboxing episode. I'm going to put a link to his video down below in this video's description. I hope all of you guys go and check it out. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you thought of his channel. Subscribe to his channel. Let me know I'm sending some love over that way. Uh, I, I, I love unique ideas. I love when someone puts a satirical twist on an already present idea too. So this is something that is near and dear to the Gator's heart. So go and support Yolo Caboose and tell him the Gator sent you. Next up, we have some small tuber drama. Small tuber on the rise, Steven Z Killer, has recently been roasted by That Strange Channel, another up and coming small YouTuber. The entire small tuber community was left shocked and awed. This is a warning. The video you're about to see contains disturbing clips. Viewer discretion is advised. You roasted Steven. Mary, prepare Steven. Yes, that's pretty cool. Now I've destroyed what is dear to you. <laughs> Oh, hey, look, there's that. He's also a pretty good streamer. Oh, oh, wait. Where'd your streaming privileges go, Steven? That's probably why you still live in your mom's basement. Hmm. He also looks like the blue m and Damn, son! That's how you roast someone. Look, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It sounds to me like that strange channel's had absolutely enough of Steven Z Killer. I personally cannot wait to see how Mr. Z Killer himself is gonna respond to this absolute roasting. I mean, it's gonna be a, a bloodbath. All right, guys, I'm going to link both our channels down below in the description of this video. Go click on them, go like them, go subscribe, tell them the Gator sent you. Come back here and tell me, are you team That Strange Channel or are you team Steven Z Killer? I want to know. Tell me below. This shit's getting out of, out of control, guys. It's getting crazy. This may very well end in another YouTuber boxing match. All right, guys, the last story of the day comes from another small tuber known only as Turkey Tom. See, just a short while ago, Turkey Tom came out and told all of us he'd be leaving the YouTube community. He'd be leaving Twitter. Twitter and Instagram, whatever else he had going on in the social media platforms of the world. He said, you know what, guys, my parents, have, you know, they're coming down hard on me. They, they say I'm focusing too much on this stuff and not enough on my schooling. And I need to focus more on that, get my grades up, make sure that's all in check before I can come back to the YouTube world. Though many of us were left sad, if you'd been following him on Twitter, you'd notice he never really went away. He just kept kind of tweeting here and there. Maybe it slowed down a bit, but he never truly broke away from the social media world. And recently, he had put out this tweet. I'm back. Don't care to explain, so don't ask. New videos this summer. Turkey Tom, that's just not going to cut it. You tell all of us that your parents have forced you off of YouTube. You tell us that your parents have forced you off of social media. You don't actually ever leave social media, and now you're coming back to YouTube full swing. We deserve an explanation. Because you, you told us all of this. We believed it. We believed it to be fact. So if that's fact, why would you be afraid to tell us that one of two things happened? Either one, they changed their mind and said, you know what, we don't want to take that away from you. You can have it back. Or two, you fixed your grades and now you got to give them back to you, you know, probably on the, uh, you know, condition that you keep your grades up. Why would you be afraid to tell us that? See, the only thing I could think of is that you lied the whole time. You were never forced off YouTube. You got burnt out. You didn't want to do it any longer. And now you're starting to feel re-energized because a whole bunch of people flocked to you and started subbing to you once you told them you were leaving because everybody wants what they can't have. And you figured that out, so you took advantage of it. At least come out and tell us the truth. Tell us what's really going on. I don't want to sound like a dick, but you owe us at least that. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining. You know, for a long time, I've been wanting to do something that kind of highlights the small tubers out there in the world. You know, before I did a channel's promotion series, it, it lasted like three, four videos. It didn't seem to catch on the way I wanted it to. It seemed people were more focused on trying to get their channel to be part of it. I'm hoping this is a little bit different. Uh, don't get me wrong. I, I, I want to know uh, about other channels. I want to know about other small tubers out there that I'm unaware of because I know there's bunches of them out there. And that's where you guys come in. See, the Gator's not going to make money off of this video. Maybe a buck or two over the next year. I mean, maybe more. Now, I don't fucking know. It depends on how much it takes off. But based on my other videos, it's not going to be much. So I can't afford a news team. I also don't have the kind of time to look around and find all the different stories out there that I can report on. And I don't want it to be solely drama. I'm looking for unique and crazy videos, unique and crazy channels, different things I can highlight and talk about on this. And hopefully I can get this out once a week if there's enough uh, news out there for me to do this.
I, I know you guys are probably thinking, you know, the news genre is oversaturated, Gator. What are you doing? Well, I'm tossing my hat into the ring, guys. I feel like I have something different to, do, to say here, something different to present you. So that's what I'm doing. And I hope you guys can be part of this with me. I, all of you out there right now, you're all part of my news team. Until I can afford one for myself, then I'll pay some of you guys to do it, which would be absolutely great. If we never get there, fine. Let's just have some fucking fun in the meantime. So if you guys do have a story or something you want me to touch on in the next small tuber news, go to my Twitter, follow me, and send me a DM telling me all about it. Otherwise, you can go to my Gator the Legend at Yahoo email and send me an email there. One way or the other, I'll get it, I'll check it out, and maybe, just maybe, you'll make small tuber news. Thank you guys so much for joining in. That's going to do it for me today. As always, I've been Gator the Legend, and this has been Small Tuber News. I eat shit on my tacos in front of small children. I make a mess and then I throw an unusual tantrum. Why can't I only fit two dicks in my ass? Am I a meme yet? Am I a meme yet? <laughs>